What's going on, world, folks and home warriors and monsters alike? It's be your boy, IFC Ipes, and of course, to the right of me. I'm Persian. We are here and so excited. It's early, but that does not mean it's going to be calm. We are here with this sick top eight, a perfect representation of Marvel in its final stages. And I cannot believe we're finally here after seven long years of Marvel 3. Seven long years, and this is always, and this is possible only because of the people at home for the player's choice that voted, that voted us in for this Sunday slot here in the grand finale of things. And we're gonna send this off right, and look how we're gonna start things off. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Chris G and Joey D. For the folks that was watching last year, you already know exactly what yes. this was about. <laughs> Chris G hit him with the stall as, as soon as he was, uh, I think it was down 2-0 oh when it happened. Oh, no, I think it, it was two up. But it right, got really emotional there. And uh, Joey D lost his opportunity, and Chris G advanced and, and wins uh, the championship at Evolution. He's defending his crown right now. But it comes full circle. As Joey D, he qualifies this year, defeating the likes of Ray Ray and a lot of competitors to make it to the top eight. And he's here today to get that revenge on Chris G. And Joey D this year alone has been on a tear. He's been putting in so much work, grinding it out, um, working hard with the Midwest, trying to be the best region in the final chapter of this game. And they have been showing up. And I, I'm pretty sure they're about to take that title and maybe even more so after today, but we have an interesting mix of players today all around. Um, the only region getting more than one player in this top eight is New York City. Of course. <laughs> without a doubt, listen, we can't send off Marvel right without some New York's finest in the mix, you know what I'm saying? But right now they're in a prime position. This is winners. Winner of this will go to the winners finale. You literally just need two games to make it to the grand finals. Two, three out of five, I should say. So we're about to get this going. The buttons are being checked. Look at this beautiful stage yes, at the Mandalay so Bay Arena. Oh my goodness. Evo 2017. I'm amazed right now. Shocked. Look how far we've come. And it's all thanks to you guys, this community. And let's get it started. First oh, for game. Sure. The weapons are being checked. The weapons of choice, the arcade sticks, of course. Oh, the, the characters are being selected oh, yeah. ferociously. And if there's anything we've learned <laughs> recently, these two teams are dominating. These two teams, you've seen it here, there, everywhere. But only the best of the best, Chris G being the lone Morgan in this top eight. Actually, no, Ryan LV's in here. Oh, yep, you're right. Psych. Oh. <laughs> you lied. No, it's cool. Good. All right, here we go. The opening gambit, as, as my homie Ski Sonic and Jay Rosa would say. All right, look at that. Quick to the Sugen move. Wants no parts of these, uh, this bullet hell, so he's trying to nullify this as much as possible. Okay, nice chicken guard just to, just to avoid the shell kick. Yeah, and Joey D playing with missiles really helped Zero move around a lot more than usual, but Chris G with that shell kick right on time. Up TAC. Mm, we're going sightseeing right now. Okay, nothing but ends. Nothing but butter, butter and Paul K right here. Nice yeah. and greasy. There it, is. there it is. Let me get the sister, sister. Absolutely. Now let's set up shot. Oh my goodness. Chris G did quick work on Zero right now. And Dr. Doom, this is actually a terror bad. It's not a terrible matchup, it's a terror bad matchup. <laughs> but you know what? There it is. And he is bringing the man with the Gucci plan right here. And this is, and it's Fed Head. Yeah, he's going to want to try to close the gap right now when Morgan is, has no meter, no astral vision. But. Chris G's not going to give it up for free. Joey D makes it to the other side. Just in time, that X Factor to kill off Morgan. He's ready to get the ball rolling. Yes, and now the momentum has shifted completely. Will Chris G block this? Ooh, no, he will, no not. he will not. Oh, he almost nice messed it up. Nice delay, though, to save that combo. Yes, he cleaned it up. Oh, oh, that's what I like to see. Okay, now what's the, now he has to hit this character right now if he wants something to happen, and he does. He does. No follow-up. Chris G X Factors, his defense, Definitely top tier. Joey D needs to keep this solid. But look at this. Chris G at the receiving end of his own duel right now. Nice. And he gets the space. The missile's completely missed. Now it's his turn to motivate himself. Oh my goodness. La mezcla, la mezcla. No, are you going to block this? Yes, you do. And the air grab. Reading that push block directly into the level four. We are making sure we are finishing our plates. We are not overextending ourselves. And, and this is high level play right here. It's too early. It's uh, it's 8 a.m. and change right now for some <laughs> shish kebab. But Chris G, first game. Joey D did pretty good right there, but he just wasn't ready for that grab on the incoming. Especially off that uh, push block check. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah. Optimization station. Where we going? We're going up again. I promise you. Oh no, side. I lied. Side. You would have got hit. 100. <laughs> I always get hit with those. Oh, there we go. A little more sightseeing. Oh, we go to the side. No meters. I like that. Kill all of that. Make it harder for him to DHC on the coming with Doom and Virgil. Zero on a pixel. No missiles are going to finish him off. Nice Here's and optimal. the incoming. Nice and optimal. Nice push block to lay there. Oh, but the air grabs. He's on for air, air grab king. You already know seven years of some ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. You already know what time it is when it comes to Chris and grabs. Is he going to hit him? Oh, yes. nice interruption. That meaty jab. Of course, Virgil limited on those incoming options. Mm. Perfect choice from the 2016 Evo Champ. Don't get so cocky like diapers, says Chris G right now with Virgil. Oh, brings in sister, sister. It's time to take a all in. This is looking very grim for Joel D. Very fortunate for Chris, though. He's got all the space right now that he needs to really control this match. There's only so much Dr. Doom can do in this match, but once you make it in, your odds get a lot better, just like we saw there. And he activates the Kaioken. There it is. The X Factor level three and the juice is slowly. Oh, Ooh, that was a good bait, but no conversion. Good. That would have been so sick. Oh, that's going to hit. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. But no X Factor. Only going to get a little bit more damage with this DHC. Joey D. Oh, could have been in there, but Chris G with the clutch air throws again. Air throws have been paying off for him tremendously so far. He's so good at point catch with those air grabs, man. I'm telling you. He has been at least five for five with air grabs right now so far in this set. And that puts Chris G massively 2 0 match point. That quick 2 0. Hopefully, Joey D can answer back. These guys definitely have played before. Mm, and no, not like this. Ooh, not in the bullet hell. The juggles. The scrambles are definitely Chris G's favorite right now. Joey D's having some serious uh, trouble finding his footing right now in this matchup. He cannot get the pain train going. He can't get no lockdowns. And this is looking grim right now. He only has one meter, so no DACs to Virgil at all. So he's going to have to grind this out to get this meter. The control from Chris G right now. Being everywhere, Joey D wants to go a step ahead. Going for that snap. Got to get Virgil in and out as fast as possible. He's closing the gap. He's on the chase. Not letting go, but now he has swords up. Christy has to respect, and he is immediately switching up that game mm. style. Convert? No, he was too high. He should have just committed already to that X Factor, and now he's going to pay for it dearly as Chris G is going to finish his play, activates the X Factor. Where are we going? We're just going to do super? Yes, we are. Will that finish the job, though, is the question. No, it will not. Still alive, but the chip. Joey D did not want to use the X Factor to keep him alive. Hopefully that decision pays off, but it's going to be harder than anything else he has to do right now. That kind of sucks. I figured he would double. Uh, he would just DAC out into Doom and just leave Virgil alive. Mm. But look, this is looking good. All nice. almost. The high block was absolutely necessary. The drones are going to keep him from following up. Punishes oh. Doom uh -oh. and gets to confirm. Joey D showing signs of life right now. Oh my goodness, he does have a chance. Where we go? Oh, nice. Ooh, the air grab for Joey Can D. Can he get the follow up? Oh no, could not get it. It is a little tricky getting all the way across the screen, but a foot dive right from the, the recovery. Nice. Directly into Super to negate the missiles. Lots of damage. Krishi doesn't give in to the air to air. He's going to slow it down with that Super. Joey D risking it all. Wow. That was, that was pretty anticlimactic on my end. I'm going to be honest with you. Damn, Joey D made some, some bad calls toward that last match. He should have double DA. He should have DAC Virgil out, bring in Doom to take the pain and then have that chance with Virgil. But you know what? He did miss that conversion. But it's okay. Chris G moves on. Winners finals. Joey D is still in there. But it's going to be a, it's going to be pretty tough road coming yes. down from the loser. So that's He's the definitely still alive. We all know he's hungry. And that loser side, when we spoke with him yesterday, he seemed pretty confident. 